Wisdom Teachings from Archangel Michael by Rana Vazain, Sacred Scribe The vibrations of love overcome all negativity. Beloved Masters, unfortunately, many souls have become what could be determined spiritually bankrupt, for they have either used up their allotment of adamantine particles of love, light, and are now so steeped in the lower frequencies of the third, fourth dimensional world that they can no longer tap into the cosmic river of life and draw forth the full spectrum light of the Creator. Or since early childhood, they have not been able to attain the required level of harmonious frequency patterns to ignite their allotment of adamantine particles stored within their sacred heart. Also, sadly, many dear souls take with them into death the greater portion of their allotment of Creator Light. These are the tormented souls who feel unloved and have led a life of suffering and often isolation or violence, created by a sense of hopelessness, feelings of self-hatred and inferiority. They often focus their hatred and frustration outwardly, blaming others and fate for their failures, while all the time being unaware that they are the source of their own pain and suffering. Many of these precious ones chose to come forth on what could be called the lower spectrum of shadow and light. At a soul level, they chose the overlay for the life's drama they would experience because they wished to overcome certain imbalanced frequency patterns from the past. However, it is important that you understand that many times the path they chose was most likely too much of a challenge, and so they fell back into the negative patterns of many fruitless lifetimes. Those who have the least freedom of choice are driven by obsession, addictions, and unconscious impulses. They are controlled by past negative influences that are very difficult to overcome and correct. Remember, dear hearts, you are not judged by anyone but your higher self, and you will always be given an opportunity to overcome past transgressions. Self-forgiveness is the first step in healing the past and reconnecting to the power within. It may seem heartless and uncaring, but a self-master will gradually end relationships with people who they no longer have a harmonious relationship. There should be no judgment, just a gradual letting go and withdrawal or severance of any energy cords of attachment. It is usually the other person who ends the relationship, for they can no longer receive the emotional energy support they require from the enlightened person. Beloveds, it is your divine mission to become a tributary of the river of life, a channel for the divine force of creation. Stagnation begins immediately when you stop the flow of adamantine particles into your sacred heart. As you become a sentinel of light, your aura will grow and grow as you become illumined by the radiance of spirit. You, your home, neighborhood, city, state, province, and country all have an auric field, whether it is bright or dim. The heart and soul of each country must be revived. When unity consciousness is lost, the spiritual life force of a country begins to wane. Remember, everything that exists has an aura. The divinity and awesome power of the Creator is in everything. Study and meditate on these concepts so that you may integrate the information and turn it into wisdom. Never forget you are eternal and immortal. Your physical body is a temporary temple in which God dwells. The Sacred Heart is the temple of the soul. Therein is the essence of life, where true love resides, and where your awareness of infinity begins. The Diamond Core God Cell within the Sacred Heart contains the twelve rays of God Consciousness, which are etheric crystal prisms of refracted light called rays that beam forth the essence of creation. Death is a metamorphosis, a changing of the cloak of flesh for a cloak of light. You have but one life, and that life is eternal. You have assumed many roles while on your journey throughout eternity. However, you are as you were in the beginning within your sacred heart, a divine child of the Supreme Creator. To become Christ it is to realize the divinity within, and then following unerringly the guidance of your God Self. In the higher realms, your vessel of light is pure, perfect, and indestructible. Envision a wholeness that has never been altered and has no imperfections. Staying centered within the Sacred Heart maintains your connection to the higher levels of God Consciousness and assures a steady flow of Creator Light, Love, and Life.
The superconscious mind is a magnet for higher godly truth. The desire body is a generating force within each person. You are dominated by either the ego desire body, which is controlled by the physical senses, or the spiritual righteous desire body that is controlled by the higher self. The subconscious, subjective mind is ruled by the conscious mind and past conditioning. It is programmed and reprogrammed through vibratory influences, whereby the lower, negative thought forms of the past have convinced you that you are sinful, weak, imperfect, and inferior. Throughout your many past life experiences, you have created a powerful vortex of doubt, depression, fear, scarcity, and debilitating disease which lead to premature death. These harmful thought forms have been repeated over and over again until they are firmly entrenched within each individual subconscious mind, as well as within the collective conscious belief structure, until they become the accepted reality of the masses. Your sacred mind always knows the truth, and it will eventually override the misconceptions of the conscious mind, which can be reprogrammed as you strive to clear the subconscious mind of negative influences. Your sacred mind is a direct connection to the God mind. Moderation in all things results in equilibrium, balance, and a sense of well-being. Self-mastery leads to control of the physical emotions and the thought processes of the lower mind. A self-master stands firmly centered within the sacred heart in the midst of chaos and change, holding fast to the wisdom of the sacred mind as it gathers strength and guidance from our Father Mother God, an observer of the process as all illusion slowly fades away. Ascension means attaining a clearer awareness of self and accepting the fact that you are an extension of our Mother Father God as you delve deeper and deeper within self. As you delve deeper and deeper within self, you come to realize your intimate connection with the Creator. Once you have felt the exquisite bliss of a heart-to-heart -heart connection with our Father-Mother God, and you are able to draw fully on adamantine particles of love, light, your yearning for love is gradually fulfilled. Your hunger for sustenance will also be sustained, and you will be given the strength, will, and determination you require to joyfully complete your earthly mission. Energy is generated through frequency patterns of attraction rather than patterns of resistance or friction. Thoughts, words, and emotions have either a helpful or detrimental effect on the physical vessel and also create a certain band of frequencies within your auric field and beyond. Thereby your reality on the physical plane is created. The laws of the universe state that you must always experience that which you create. When you are radiating the refined frequencies of love all around you, the negative forces will not affect you. My brave ones, it is vitally important that you strive to strengthen your self-determination and your desire for fulfillment. You must evolve from an ego self-serving mode to a self-serving state of consciousness. Your soul is that part of you which is connected to the universal whole. You gain compassion the hard way through pain and suffering, ego-driven, or the easy way through the process of reunion with your higher self, soul-inspired. Nothing can escape the radiation and magnetic influence of the rarefied creator light, adamantine particles now permeating this sub-universe, galaxy, solar system, the earth, and humanity. The chakras are like electromagnetic batteries within the body. The vibrations of electromagnetic frequencies communicate to your many levels of consciousness. You must be harmonious with and attuned to the higher vibrational cosmic teachings in order to integrate them. The refined frequencies of light and sound vibrate through your bloodstream, cells, organs, bones, muscles, and tissues, thereby enriching your sense of well-being. The lower frequencies of the third, fourth dimensional environment restrict the flow of life-giving energy and increase the density in your four lower body systems. Your sacred heart and sacred mind, along with your bloodstream and chakra mind centers, carry genetic encodings of your earthly lineage. And even more important, within your DNA are holograms and memory seed atoms of your entire cosmic lineage and your divine heritage. My beloved bearers of light, we ask you to review each test and challenge as an opportunity to release outmoded thoughts and vibrational patterns which no longer serve your greater good. 
We implore you to view your life experiences through the filters of your sacred heart and sacred mind as you draw forth the diamond ray particles of life, light, and infuse them with your love before radiating them out into the world and to humanity. Together, in our own unique way, we are all experiencing this cosmic dance of evolution, and through our joint effort and endeavors, we shall prevail. I am Archangel Mikael.